Hello, Food Maker here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play uh, Cross Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy. I believe we can now get both of the diamonds here, gems, even. So let's do that. See you in a minute. No, no, it's a stupid way to die. Um. Got to make sure I get all of these this time, but that should be possible with the double jump. Like that. Now, this is where it gets tricky, because I need to decide how cool I am back might be a good idea to get some of the boxes and then go back. Oh, it might not make a difference. That might happen as well. Well, I might regret this, but... I actually don't think it'll matter that much either way because I'm still going to be backtracking either way. It will just be a matter of am I getting the boxes as I backtrack. Unfortunately, because these boxes are here, I can't just kill myself and restart with the uh, with the gem already being here. I don't think. Well, I might be able to go back on those. Alright, so I know I've got two of those, so I know I ought to have 75, so that info might be useful in the future if I do decide that I'm just going to let Crash die. Now I need to make sure I do absolutely nothing wrong. I will have to do all of that again. I suppose I know now that there's 95. Oh, the backtracking was pretty annoying. But that is that done. Well, I'm probably going to regret this, but... It has to be done at some point. While I've got 34 lives, I might as well um, try this uh, Coco level. I don't know if I'm going to get the time relic for this. We'll see how hard it is. Uh 
100 sounds like a lot. I mean, you know, relatively, if um, if you were to say what's the uh, the population of Lithuania, then a hundred would make you go, "Wow, that's a heck of a lot less than I thought it was." But um, relatively, well, you get my point. I, yeah, you get my. I know it sounded weird, if you heard me go... I was... I was grunting with what I imagined would be the physical effort. No, I'm, I'm talking nonsense. I'm gonna stop talking for a bit. Yep, that was just as nerve-wracking as you'd imagine it was. Well, I may or may not get the time relic at some point, 
But I am certainly not going to get the time relic now. I am going to take a break from Ski Devils for a bit. Still, that wasn't uh, that wasn't as bad as hot cocoa. Yeah, we haven't unlocked and we haven't got enough of those yet. Area 51's a pain anyway. Get the time relic for this. You know what, this timing is actually really tight, maybe because we're getting into more of the middle levels of the game rather than the early ones. I'm thinking it would actually be best to do this with the super speed shoes. So, skip over getting this for the moment. Let's do one of the new levels. Okay. Well, this is a pretty simple level. You just have to shoot down these things and um, it's a good idea to get over the boxes as well. Um, you don't actually have to hit the boxes, you just have to You can hit the balloons and that's okay. Just make sure you don't end up hitting all the blimps before you get all the boxes. Well, you can sort of see the, I suppose, guts of the uh, the vehicles um, when you destroy them. So yeah, bye bye, blimps. This is going to be a pain, but and it's not as bad as hot cocoa. So, Crash Bandicoot, we meet again. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex want me to teach you a lesson. 
Well, I made a few modifications to my mechanics since our last encounter. <laughs> so back off, or be deleted! This one is a bit more annoying because there were ones that had hidden in quite awkward places. Oh, they really like the uh, they really like these types of levels in this game. As long as they don't, at least they don't like the underwater levels quite as much. life.
high welcome checkpoint. Okay, that is certainly enough for this level. I will see you next time.